Uh, welcome to a new video and a new overheating test now out in the sun here in Cologne, Germany 36 degrees Celsius, very very hot and probably gets even hotter especially in the sun and uh, I'm recording here right now with Xperia 1 Mark IV and it looks like it's not overheating yet I'm trying out the test if it overheats, if I disable seamless zoom and just choose one of the lenses to start recording. Uh, 4K 30 frames per second and the rest is set to automatic. The only thing that I did was disabling eye and face autofocus to see if it helps a little bit with the overheating issue or not. But uh, this test will not be only a test on the Xperia 1 Mark IV, but it also will be a test on several other devices that I have here in my possession that run the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or a 888 Snapdragon. So I have, I think, here the Huawei P50 Pocket, which runs uh, the uh, 888 Snapdragon, but a 4G version. And I have my Honor Magic 4 Ultimate with me as well, running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But like I said and stated earlier already, uh, 300 megahertz less high in its highest clock speed than the Xperia 1 Mark IVs uh, by default, which yeah, can help with heat dis uh, di dissipation a little bit or not generating so much heat because it's like in general uh, not running so high of a clock speed. So I'm walking around here and uh, it's pretty hot. No one's out here right now and I'm also after this test going home because it's just simply too hot to walk around, especially in the sun. But yeah, this is uh, the overheating, ultimate overheating test, I would say, 35, 36 degrees Celsius, especially in the sun here, probably even hotter. And uh, yeah, does it overheat yet? Uh, we have to find out. So let's check out, is it overheating yet? Yes, it's giving me a big, big overheating warning already. And I'm recording like two minutes. So I have the big overheating warning already on the One Mark IV. So definitely it cannot cope with the heat. Um, I will let it cool down and try out with the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate in the same conditions to see if it also is overheating so quickly as the One Mark IV is here right now, uh, which yeah should stop in a second. By the way, oh, the overheating warning went away. There's just a high temperature warning right now. It's interesting. So not sure what's going on there. <laughs> uh, I never had this. Why is it cooling down so? quickly it's still recording is it yeah so yeah there was a big overheating warning and it's gone now maybe because I was walking through the shadow but not so sure about this let's walk to the Sun again and let's see if it still is overheating then uh, weird I never had this during recordings showing up the overheating warning and then gone so let's see walking in the Sun if it uh, gets the overheating warning again so far not interesting and a pretty weird kind of experience never had this before yeah still going strong I'm amazed what I also have maybe a slight theory another theory that I'm developing right now is it's still showing the overheating sign nine minutes recording is the battery life where is it showing me the battery but I have like 90% battery left I think when I started something like this can can I take a look at the battery yeah 84% I have the feeling that eventually the device runs hot and overheats if the battery is a bit too low. Does it make sense? I don't know. As you might notice, probably mid-sentence the Xperia overheated and uh, it's not showing me the overheating warning, uh, but it was recording uh, 9 hours, uh, 9 hours, 9 minutes and 43 uh, seconds. Uh, maybe you can see it there, very dim lit, so uh, maybe it's like the overheating sign is gone now. But yeah, 9 minutes 43. I'm recording now with the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate using the same chip set as the Xperia 1 Mark IV. Also the uh, Snapdragon, S, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. And I let it cool down now uh, to see if uh, we can uh, try something else with the 1 Mark IV. The thing about the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate, just like its predecessor, it has a 4K time limit so it is not recording over 15 minutes so after 15 minutes it just aborts recording it's just the time limit that they set there it's interesting because Huawei for example doesn't have this but Honor has it 
and uh, might be something to do with the Snapdragon HN1 but also the Snapdragon 888 that they were using in the Magic 3 Pro Plus that I tested has this 15 minutes limit maybe has also something to do with thermal already even this hot condition it gets pretty hot probably the Magic 4 Ultimate and the Magic 4 Pro have oh, roughly the same heat dissipation roughly the same overheating protection and algorithms so we will see a pretty similar performance otherwise tell me in the comments if you own a Magic 4 Pro on a Magic Pro 4 uh, on a Magic 4 Pro uh, how it looks like do you have any overheating issues with this one or not so yeah going strong here I think we're reaching 12 minutes and uh, yeah this is the end I've stopped just recording here it doesn't make sense anymore and uh, yeah I think this one here on a Magic 4 Ultimate and probably on a Magic 4 Pro passed the test with the Snapdragon HN1 slightly underclocked 300 megahertz less uh, than the Sony one so this one is working fine it's just like the wind noise is probably you will hear here much more often so yeah still recording yes we have like 13 minutes now I just stop it now so uh, now recording with uh, the Huawei P50 Pocket with a Snapdragon 888 4G processor and I make it a little bit harder for this device first of all it's a very thin foldable or flip phone device in its new style and I'm making it harder because I enabled the second screen so I can see myself this is a nice addition for vlogging if you want to one of the best vlogging phones I would say because you can see yourself in a small little preview window live it is not like on the Xiaomi 11 Ultra where you only have like a preview window for photos but not for videos you have one here for videos which is live and pretty cool it's a bit of dim lit but uh, still working fine uh, we don't have a limitation on 4k recording so I can flip around here I don't see no the timer is just running and there's no limitation on uh, the uh, p50 pocket at all in 4k 30 frames per second and probably uh, it will record even longer than the honor magic 4 ultimate because it doesn't have this limitation and uh, yeah we will see how hot it will get it's a slimmer device it's the slimmest device that we have here even slimmer than the Xperia 1 Mark 4 it just had the older Snapdragon processor and no 5G here only 4G maybe it helps it as well the wind is pretty strong which is weird uh, probably because it's so hot and somewhere else is so cold so the wind has to flow hopefully the microphone is picking up my sound and not so much of the wind noises probably will get some wind noises because I don't have the big wind muff dead cat on just a little pop Popcat have uh, the new also globally released Xiaomi Redmi no not Redmi it was Poco X4 GT that has this MediaTek 8100 though not as powerful as the K50 which is a bit of weird why that's Poco maybe they did something there I'm not sure use some cheaper materials uh, also very powerful and also recommendable it's like a little bit better than the Snapdragon 778 but the sustainability of the high performance so you don't have these dips when you're playing a game or when you're using your, your system a little bit more like editing videos and so on so this might be the future MediaTek is going the right route right now and I think yeah Samsung's manufacturing is bad <laughs> this is why the Snapdragon suffered the last couple of years and maybe Qualcomm was also doing some bad designs but the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is showing that it's working much much better now and uh, hope that in the future also the manufacturers are not listening to Qualcomm and its official data but also listening to listening to their tests and then put some vapor cooling so interesting result the p50 pocket overheated I was not expecting this it was overheating at 11 minutes 32 seconds I think so this is a bummer it was overheating just like the Xperia 1 Mark 4 a bit later of course uh, it's pretty hot to the touch now that I'm, I'm feeling it so yeah it overheated and turned itself off uh, turned the camera application completely off and was not usable for a few minutes until I checked it and uh, yeah now it is uh, working again uh, now I'm using the Xperia 1 Mark 4 again I'm using the seamless zoom option now to see if it is making any difference in terms of overheating 4k 30 still and it is uh, using uh, ISO the lowest 64 I set right now so to see if uh, this makes any difference eye face detection still off just autofocus and stabilization turned on 
and interesting the last man standing is still here the honor magic for ultimate that recorded longer than all of them them here which is pretty interesting let's let's check of course it's a it's the biggest device as well so can probably deal with heat a bit but it's one minute longer so it's 12 minutes and 35 seconds but i was like expecting it to go to 15 minutes but i was also expecting a bit more of the uh, p50 pocket to be honest but in these conditions yeah it was also overheating but a lot later than xperia 1 mark 4 this shows two things i would say snapdragon 888 can overheat as well the other thing is not prone to overheat as much as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and that if you have this thin of a device, just let's open it up to show you this thin of a device, then of course it will also overheat after in these conditions after a few minutes. Now it recorded like 11 minutes and 30 seconds, which is like one minute lower than I recorded with the Magic 4 Ultimate that probably would go to 15 minutes. And yeah, this is the Xperia 1 Mark 4 now recording with all its features and glories, not all the auto modes on. And it's showing me already after two minutes, big overheating warning. So it could turn off any second now as well. So yeah, what do you think about this little test that I did here? All of the phones, almost all of the phones overheated, two of three phones overheated. Uh, one running Snapdragon 888 in a very thin design. So it shows Xperia design maybe being so thin has its downsize here as well on the p50 pocket and uh, the thickest device also with the snap snapdragon 8 gen 1 slightly underclocked slower than the xperia 1 mark 4 definitely but thicker running hard i switched again on the xperia 1 mark 4 because it was overheating on uh, the video pro app so i'm not sure if the seamless zoom really is overheating it's the cause of overheating not so sure about this i'm recording with the cinema pro app here 4k 30 now to see if it has any overheating probably a bit overexposed because it just set up things randomly on the device and uh, hopefully by eye looking and looking at the little scale that shows me is it underexposed or overexposed so not sure if this is running fine without overheating so far it is running fine it's overexposed completely but yeah it's running fine so cinema pro is what i can recommend you to record with on the xperia 1 mark 4 if you want to have longer videos because it will do work but do it only indoors if you don't move so so much around otherwise you have to hold it pretty stable and it's getting pretty hot right now to not have too much shake induced because the algorithms for stabilization are a lot worse here on cinema pro and of course if you have changing lights like i have here right now it's a bit of a bummer because it doesn't have automatically turning uh, of lights up and down but it's running better than the video pro app which is pretty interesting maybe it also has something with seamless zoom option because you don't have a seamless zoom option here in cinema pro you only have one lens that you can choose and this will stay for the whole recording so uh, is it overheating it's showing me the overheating warning still going strong though uh, hopefully I think this is everything for this test so every phone probably overheats this one doesn't the honor magic 4 ultimate has a ceramic back maybe also has something to do with with this better heat dissipation better heat management thermal management there slightly underclocked the slowest of the bunch i think um not sure what i wanted to say until it uh, overheated the one mark 4 again after a minute so it is at overheating has an overheating issue um, just looking at the p50 pocket here to see if is if this is still going has a very dim screen i think it's also still too hot after it overheated you i'm like running like for five six minutes can record something but probably will overheat in a few minutes as well so yeah overheating issues are uh, issues of smartphones nowadays of the high spec smartphones would be interesting maybe to do some overheating tests with mid-range smartphones like the snapdragon 778g based smartphones or dimensity 1200 based smartphones to see if they overheat otherwise i can only tell you honor magic 4 ultimate has won this overheating test in 35 to 36 degrees celsius outside in the sun probably a bit more um, strong recording time 12 minutes and 35 seconds uh, longer than the xperia 1 mark 4 longer than the p50 pocket and uh, probably yeah the longest of all the phones that i have in the highest class that i have right now i'm not sure if the p50 pro would survive such uh, such heat so what do you think about this uh, little test write it down in the comment section i have to think about if i cut it down or if i just release it as it is 
uh, release it as is probably easier. But uh, let's see. Uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.